All right, Stephen, thank you. Welcome to the Cooking Corner. Today we are joined by Elizabeth Tolliver from Panera Bread. She's going to show us how to make some broccoli cheddar mac and cheese cups. Elizabeth, good to see you. Good Thanks to see you for again. being here. Um, so what are we doing today? Uh, today we're making some broccoli cheddar mac and cheese cups um, and flour tortillas. These are going to be great for uh, game watch parties for football season and basketball season coming up. Yeah, and it looks really simple too, and it doesn't Very take a lot simple. of steps. Right. Yeah, definitely. And you can go to Panera and get the ingredients for this, right? Or at least some of it. The, yeah, you the can mac come and, and get the broccoli cheddar mac and cheese, or if you want plain mac and cheese, you can do that too. Okay, so what do we do? So we get um, a muffin tin, and I've already greased this. You just want to grease it with some olive oil or um, some Crisco. You can spray it also. Get a tortilla, Good. and we're going to cut out circles. It's the perfect size. Perfect size is about three inches, and you can use a cookie cutter. Um, this is a one cup measure, which comes out great. Right. Then you just stick it in here, push it down a little bit. And you're going to set up all of your pans that way. Okay. I have some already pre-cut. And then you're going to take half a, a half cup of some Monterey Jack cheddar. Okay. Put in your 16 ounces of broccoli cheddar mac and cheese. And this mac and cheese, you get it, uh, you can get it at the restaurant, mm -hmm. um, or you, can, you guys also sell this in stores, is that right? Yes, that's correct. We have a, a retail package right here. Okay. That you can see. So you just mix this up real good, and then all you do is scoop it in there, and these little scoopers come in quite handy. And you just want to fill up the cups. Yeah, it's just the perfect amount. And what's the, uh, what's the other cheese that you have there as well? The other mac and cheese is a white Vermont cheddar mac and cheese. And you could do the broccoli one or this one, just kind of your preference. Yep. And you can add bacon to it if you want. That's really popular. Oh, that's a good idea. So we put all of these in there like this. What is the other shredded cheese you have there as well? This is some more Monterey Jack. Okay. And we're just gonna top them all with that. Make it extra cheesy. The more cheese, the better. That's right. what I like to say. Um, and then how long do you bake this for? We bake it on 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And is there is there a right time to know when it's done? I mean, do you want it to be just golden brown or? Yeah, you want the edges to not be not be burnt. And then you can pop them out um, and make sure the bottom is just toasted. It's Yeah, it's a perfect soggy. snack, like you mentioned, for game day as well. And we also have some bagels here. Tell me about that. Um, that's kind of special, something that you guys are doing for October. Yeah, so these are our pink ribbon bagels. Um, we uh, do them every October um, in the shape of pink ribbons to support breast cancer awareness. This is the 20th anniversary of us doing this bagel and uh, the entire month of October we donate 25 cents per bagel to Komen, Oklahoma and on Friday the 15th next week we do 100%. Cool a great cause and uh, I've always wanted to try that that flavor of bagel so yeah definitely. Elizabeth thank you so much thanks for being here thank great you. recipe you can check out many more recipes just like this one just go to our website at newson6.com slash recipes we'll be right back after this break with a final look at your Monday forecast stay with us.